Well, all right, people. So I want to do a rant on what they're calling, I guess, the WWE Thunderdome. It's one of the stupidest, weirdest, hardest to look at. I don't even know what to call it. A, a contraption and an apparatus. I mean, it's just a giant LED screen of a million ugly faces. I mean, and I guess this is a larger rant, too, on sports and, and what they've tried to do to replace the audiences. And all of them have failed. I mean, I mean, we know audiences are a huge part of, of sports and of wrestling. And without it, sports and wrestling lose a, a big part of themselves. So it's like, don't even try to replace them. Like, it, it, like, like, don't put in cardboard cutouts. Don't put in a bunch of faces on television screens. Just leave the fucking seats empty. All right. I mean, I, I, I see fucking some sports stadiums. They got cardboard fans. Like that is so fucking creepy. They got, you, you, you know, mannequins. They got just all this weird shit. Like, well, why? Like, I'm not going to turn on the television screen and watch a sports game and be like, oh, that's so cool that they got cardboard fans in the stands. Like, wow, that's just amazing. And this whole, and all these fans on these electronic screens, it's just a giant fucking distraction. Like, oh my God, there's so many faces up there. And by the way, if you pay to be on that, you're a fucking loser, by the way. I mean, I would not give a fucking dime to, to, to be on the fucking Thunderdome screen or whatever the fuck they call those. I, I mean, you probably couldn't even pay me to put my face on, on there because I would be embarrassed to be to be on WWE television, to have my face on WWE television, knowing how shitty their product is. But, like, I just saw they started doing this a couple months ago, and it really got under my nerves not as much now since i don't watch this product but it it it, it already hurt I'm, I'm sure it's hurt it's hurting everybody's eyes having to watch the shitty storylines the shitty promos the shitty characters the shitty wrestling every fucking week hour after hour after hour of shitty content i'm sure that hurts your eyes and your brain enough but now you got to stare at that ugly fucking led bright as fuck screen for another three hours every week knowing that the that the stands are empty that the only one of the only good things about raw and wrestling was the crowd sometimes you would get a decent crowd but no now you get no nothing nobody not even 25 percent capacity no fuck that you get a giant uh electronic screen that just looks awful i mean i was looking at pictures here on my phone of this just just to kind of uh, refresh my memory as to what this looked like. And, and, and it's like, it's not like 10 or 20 faces, right? You get like hundreds, just hundreds of, of losers that have, I guess, paid to be on, on this ugly ass screen. Like, I don't know what's more ugly, the faces or the fucking screen itself. So, you know, I'm just looking at it, and then I hear this Thunderdome thing is moving to Tropicana Field. So what does that mean? You're going to get fucking, like, 10,000 faces? Like, that's going to be even worse. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this now, and it's just it's just awful. I mean, you're, you're, like, like, I'm looking at this picture of Vince McMahon standing in the ring, and there's, like, a million faces. It, it just hurts my eyes because there's so much going on in the background. I can't even look at it. Like, holy fuck. You know, it's like a million different things in the background. And, and, and it's just lame. Like, just leave the fucking stands empty. Don't try with these cardboard cutouts or electronic fans uh, or, or whatever the fuck. Don't pipe in crowd noises, by the way. That's the dumbest shit ever. Stop piping in crowd sounds. It just makes, it just re, like all this bullshit that they tried to do to, to replace fans at these sporting events... Just remind me more of how shitty this the, the, these COVID lockdowns are and how shitty it is not to have sports fans at the events, okay? Some sports, it's a little bit better, like baseball fans aren't that big, but, you know, when you're watching a college football game and there's no fans, it totally just takes out the atmosphere. Same thing with wrestling. Fans were always a big part of the show. 
Uh, now you take out the fans, it's not even close to the same. And I, I know it's hard to fathom wrestling being more shady, but we, we, I, I mean, I honestly couldn't think it could, could, could really drop a level in quality, but it really has since this COVID pandemic because there's just no fans. You know, this, this fucking Thunderdome shit, that's not, I don't consider those fans. Those are fucking losers who uh, who who still buy into the shit that Vince McMahon gives them week after week after week, and they still buy into the to the shitty uh, storylines that the non-creative team <clears throat> produce week after week after week. So if you need just one more reason not to watch wrestling, uh, you know, the Thunderdome bullshit is just another one. You know, it's like a smoking addiction. There's there's a million reasons to quit. You know, maybe this maybe this reason will put you over the edge, and I hope it does because ever since I quit, you know, th th these are like stories. Ever since I quit smoking, you know, ever since I quit watching wrestling, I am a happier man. I have more free time. I smile more. My stress levels are lower. My blood pressure is probably uh, better. I get more sleep. It's like my entire life has just turned around since I've quit this terrible addiction of watching wrestling. And every once in a while, I will pipe in for a couple minutes. I'll watch a YouTube video that WWE produces. And so instead of instead of spending six hours a week on wrestling on, on WWE, I now spend probably six minutes a week. And I am a much happier man. I, I, I mean, I should have done this a long time ago. I mean, the only thing that really stopped me from doing it was I, I loved making the YouTube vids. But honestly... It's better now just checking in every once in a while, doing a YouTube video here and there, maybe watching one pay-per-view a year, but I am a much happier man. And, you know, seeing this shit going on right now with, 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 with Thunderdome, just glad I'm not still addicted to this bullshit. Um, so there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that.